The first. first challenge our robot will be facing is in teleoperation mode. In this challenge, the robot will be moved through human control. The goal of this challenge is to grab as many discs as possible using our claw. Then we must place the discs on a stand, which will determine our points for the round. The following challenge our robot is going to face will be autonomous. What this means is that our robot will move by itself with absolutely no human control. Colored circles shall be placed on the floor and our robot will have to detect the circles by either stopping or beeping in acknowledgement of the circles. As demonstrated here, our robot is more than capable. Our robot design is built out of challenge and struggle. There have been many ups and downs, times where we almost had to restart the entire robot. But with every challenge that came our way, we learned from it. We first started building the basic bot, however, we eventually realized that this would not fit our needs. Our claw was not long enough to reach the highest tier of rank, so we decided to rebuild our claw. When we made it longer, it was too heavy, so we had to adjust it until it was capable of holding. Our robot was now front heavy, so we had to add weight to the back. There are many fields of work in which robots are used, such as agriculture and the medical field. In the medical field, robots are used to have minimally invasive surgeries such as coronary artery bypasses. Robots in agriculture are used for weed control and soil analysis. Some good majors that could help you get a job in robotics are mechatronics and aerospace engineering. Mechatronics is essentially a combination of many different types of engineering. Mechatronic engineers often work on creating intelligent robots with sensors and cues to interact with their surroundings. Aerospace engineers focus on creating robots that can function in extreme environments. Motor 4 spin reverse for 100 degrees. This makes our claw go up. Drive chain set drive velocity to 95%. This makes our robot go faster. Drive chain drive forward. This makes our robot go forward. If distance 3 senses an object within 10 inches and my variable equals 1, the driver train will turn right for 88.5 degrees. This means that if the distance sensor sees an object within 10 inches, it will turn right for 88.5 degrees. Drive train, drive reverse 2 inches. Drive train, turn right 88.5 degrees. This means that once our robot turns right 88.5 degrees, it will drive reverse for 2 inches and then turn right another 88.5 degrees. My variable equals my variable my variable plus two. This is three detects an object at ten inches. This means that you're changing the variable by two. The second line means that the distance sensor detects an object within ten inches.